that the whole crank for the day. YouTube, you already know, man, it's Mr. Skinny Man, and I'm back in the Hemi Man. Let me correct that. Yo, in the Skin Cat, in the Hellcat, 717 to be exact, you feel me? Yeah, man, but, uh, yo, if you're rocking with the campaign, man, hit that subscribe button. You already know that. Salute to everybody, man, that's hitting the subscribe button. The channel is definitely going up, and, uh, man, I enjoy bringing you, man. This Hellcat content, man. This Dodge Mopar content, man. Because, you know, we get it in. The latest chat on YouTube, man. But, yo, the membership to this channel has been knocked down to 199 entry level. And that gets you on the wheel for all the giveaways. So, take advantage of that. Uh, join and become a member of the Skinny Naughty. 199 gets you on the wheel. And 399 gets you Skinny Gang membership. So, uh, yeah, man. Today, bruh. We're just riding out, letting y'all hear this wine. You feel me? But um, a lot of people have been asking me about the gas mileage on this here vehicle, bro. Like how many miles per gallon I get. So I'm about to let y'all see. As y'all can see currently, I'm getting like 12.3 miles per gallon the way that I'm driving. And uh, I need to go pull over and get some gas because I only got 32 miles worth of range left. But uh, when you get these here cars, you can't worry about gas. Luckily, you know, I've been in a blessed position. I got a blessed support, uh, a blessed support team, a blessed channel where I don't even have to worry about gas. You know, I just pull up to the pump and I pump that motherfucker. But don't let all these here things the naysayers say, like, if this is the kind of car you want, get it, man. Get it. Don't let naysayers try to be damn dream blockers, bro. Dream blockers. If it's meant for you to have, whoever you pray to, your higher being, will make sure that you pay for it, you feel me? But uh, yeah, man, all it is, man, with bigger price comes bigger responsibilities, you feel me? But uh, let's get it. Actually, man, I'm late getting to the barber shop. Got some clients at the shop. I'm late getting there. So I don't even think I got enough time to stop and get some gas. This here would be really, really embarrassing, bro. Really, really embarrassing. You in a Hellcat and you run out of gas. But, um, yeah, like I said, I got a range of 31 miles. I get 12.3 miles per gallon average. So I'll probably be giving you a fill up, an update on how much it costs in these days and times to fill up a Dodge Hellcat. Yo, it's Mr. Skinny and the Skin Cat, man. Get it, yeah.
of people been hitting me up about that weird NBA basketball player who be hating on my car. I mean, hateness is a sickness. Being a hater is a sickness. I mean, you get ostracized in life. Nobody wants to be around no hater. None of that. But hopefully they'll get it fixed. Uh, tomorrow, July 29th, yeah, a lot of content creators gonna be mad because their subscriber count gotta be shown. Oh well. I don't know what it is about the subscriber count. Everybody who got on YouTube started at zero. So why is you worried about the world seeing your subscriber count again? If you're talented, your subscriber's gonna grow up. It's gonna blow up, I mean. If you got the talent, your subscriber count will grow. I mean, what's the difference of you promoting a channel with zero subscribers and then you promoting a channel with your subscribers turned off? They don't know how many subscribers you got. I really don't think people subscribe to you because of the number that you had. I could be wrong. I feel like they subscribe to you because of your content. But nevertheless, show them subscribers, nigga. A lot of people got their own differences of why they don't show their subscribers. Some people don't show them because they lose their subscribers. I have always 100 since day one shown my subscriber count, no cap. Never ever put my subscriber account on private. I wanted people to see me come up from nothing. So. That's why I did that. And it got to get that 93, man. This is just to show y'all, man. Anybody that's thinking about getting a Hellcat, this here is just a fuel check. Like I say, you don't cry about the gas, you just pump that motherfucker. OG shit. After this, I'ma grab something to eat, man. Wrap the all the tag. What y'all know about these here car YouTube? Probably about a gallon left. A gallon, two gallons left in the tank. There it go. Give it one more time. I have a 
on top of it all. That's it. As you can see, man, we're back full, 227 mile radius. That's what you're getting, y'all. That's what you get. So when you grab one of these, you already know what you get. 226 miles to the fill up. And 12.6 uh, miles per gallon. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's basically it, man. Before we get up out of here, I just wanted to wrap the y'all a tad. Um, I was watching Tall Guy's video earlier today and um, he was talking about how he cashed in all his cars and how it's not all wrapped up to be and that he's never going to mod anything again. I'm like, duh, like salute the tall guy. Like I don't have no problem with tall guy whatsoever, but yo, I always used to wonder why do you pay all these this money for these his supercars and all of that and usually you only keep them for no more than one or two years why would you destroy the warranty and go up under the hood of a supercar like I never understood that like I don't do that like, I don't change no wheels I don't change no rims I don't do no engine mods nothing I just do like cosmetic mods like, I haven't did no muffler delete nothing on this car. I don't even plan to. 80000 dollars is enough. Yo, I put the stars in it. I still may wrap it. But yo, watching tall guy get the wrap taken off his TRX. That's too much man when you go to sell a car. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna get like that ceramic finish on the paint to keep the paint like from chipping and stuff like that from rocks on the road. Probably get that. And um, that'll probably be it. I may change the uh, Hellcat emblem to a red Hellcat emblem, but I don't even know if I'll do that. I don't even be really, I don't respect dudes who do that fake tag. That's cap to me. That fake kicking, now, if you get a tag in a different color or the tag that you already got, that ain't bad. But um, that stuff what Lil Baby did change his regular Hellcat into a red eye. That's finessing, bruh. Especially with the money he got, that turns into borderline lame, if you ask me. But, um... Yeah, don't expect any, um... Under the hood mods. For this car, like it gets 717 horses. Don't expect me to try to modify it, put a tune on it, to try to get 800 horses, a uh, thousand horses. Nah, this is gonna be factory at least until 60,000 miles is up. Now I'll probably be the traded it. I'll probably be done, done something. Traded it in for another car or anything before 60,000 miles on it. So. But anyway, appreciate y'all cruising with me through the day. Love y'all guys. Yo, make sure you become a member of the channel because I just got some good news fresh off the press that I'm going to deliver on the live stream. Yo, this channel just got turned up. And to become a member is only $1.99 and it enters you in the giveaway. You know what I mean? Shout out to No Chill Arenas. That's Gilbert Arenas' new page. Y'all go up there and subscribe to that channel. 
no chill arenas and uh with all that out the way man thanks for y'all time time is one thing you can't get back and you chose to spin it rocking out with skinny and a hell cat the skin cat that is love y'all guys salute out of here